Emo Movie here. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm back with another special video. That's right, you know my video is special. Okay, you guys. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I did one when I did uh, the wine, but I'm back to do... Uh, I'm going to do a remake video today. Um, what I'm going to do is a video that I did a few years ago, and it was called What's in My Sewing Box, because... Even though a lot of people do so today, there are some who don't. And um, well, anyway, let me let me start over. Let me let me back up. Let me backtrack just a bit on this. Okay, when I was growing up, every household had the old sewing box. Okay, um, different sizes, different colors, handmade, store bought, you name it. But every household had one. Um, because back in the day, uh, you would have to fix a lot of your own clothes. You know, don what they call donning socks. They would stick a little rubber ball up in the sock and stitch it up, stitch up the hole. Uh, you fix your hems. Uh, you did all that. And a lot of women even did sewing by hand because everybody wasn't, um, didn't have a sewing machine. You know, they weren't. You know, they didn't have a sewing machine because everybody couldn't afford one. So, you know, you did a lot of your sewing by hand. Anyway, so I decided to redo the sewing box. Okay, but before I do this, you know I always forget something. I got to go get something because I want to include this in um, when I talk about this. Hold on. Okay, I'm back because I want to include this because some people might say, well, Emma, I, you know, we can't afford to buy a sewing box right now, but you know, that's okay because I know a lot of times when people buy what we call tennis shoes, some people call them sneakers or basketball shoes or whatever, you have your box, okay? Um, these are some, some shoes my daughter bought me two years ago. She still got paper in it. Anyway, you can use these boxes, okay? And you can put everything that you need, you know, scissors, thread, needles, and all that in these boxes. You can have this kind, you know, the regular cardboard box, or you can use the plastic kind. It's two here, but I didn't bother taking them apart. But anyway, you know, you can get these at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, uh, 99 cent store. Same thing. You open them up and you uh, put all your, uh, you know, your supplies in there. Okay. I just want to show you two, two things you can use. You can always keep your uh, shoe boxes and use those. Okay. Now, we're going to go through my sewing box to see what we got in here. Standard stuff. Okay. Now. First thing, since this here is my standing, this is my tape measure. Okay, you always need a tape measure if you're going to sew. What's in here? Okay, uh, nothing. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought this was broke. This is a needle threader, y'all. I thought it was broke for some reason. Okay, that's why I was in here. Okay, and over here, I got needles stuck in here, but okay, let me open this up. We're going to start with your most important things to sewing. Besides needles, you have your needles. What is this stuck on here? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Me and my okay, no, it's stuck on the uh, zipper. Needles, okay, and needles. All right, and I'm gonna tell you guys something about these needles. Okay, these are my good singer needles. Okay. I did have two packs of these. I don't know what happened. Oh, these are my sewing machine needles. But anyway, I'm not talking about sewing machine right now. These needles came from the 99 cent store. Invest in a lot of packs of these. Because 
like back in the day, there might come a time when uh, one of your sisters might need to borrow a needle and you have, and you might not want to give up all your good needles, so you buy extra packs of these. And I also had the little needles in here, this little round thing, but they were just too cheap. You know, they, most of them were stuck in here and then my pin box, my little pin box right here. Uh-oh. I just dropped stuff. All right, my little pin box where my, my straightened pins and needles. And I got, as a matter of fact, I got to get some new straight pins and new uh, uh, safety pins. But anyway, straight pins, safety pins. Yeah, like I was saying, you see, don't buy these, you guys. Don't buy these kind. These are cheap. Really, I mean, really, really, really cheap. Not price-wise cheap, but the way they're made. There's probably some net made in China stuff, okay? Now, um, these needles, this has 70 needles in it. These were made in, um, right here in the United States. No, it wasn't. They were made in China, too. But anyway, it's a better needle than those that come in this little round thing, okay? If they're a cheap pack of needles, but you get a whole lot of needles in here, okay? And then, like I said, I have um, my singer needles. These are the, these are good kind, you know, all right? And then, okay, let's see. We're going to start with our scissors, our sewing scissors, our dressmaker shears, as they also call them. These right here. Okay. Now, let me tell you one thing about your good scissors. Your, your scissors that you sew with. You will never, ever, ever, ever cut paper or anything else with these scissors. You will not allow your children or your spouse, your husband to go in your sewing box to get your scissors to cut paper with them. Okay. That is a cardinal sin to use your good scissors to cut paper. Okay, if you, even when you buy a pattern, keep another pair of scissors. You know, when you cut all the excess uh, paper off your pattern, keep an extra pair of scissors to do that. Because you never want to take your good scissors and um, cut paper or something with them. Because then, you have to break out the old sharpener. This is a scissor sharpener. This is, you know, you sharpen your scissors, or you can even probably sharpen knives with this too, but basically mine is to sharpen scissors, okay? Um, I also keep a little extra pair just to cut threads, nip threads, and all that kind of stuff, because my good scissors, basically, are just cutting fabric, all right? Even, you know... Even when the pattern is on and you're never cutting paper because the pattern has already been cut out and it's just pinned to your material, okay? And now, certain types of material that you use, like, uh, for instance, like a lot of the uh, fabric I buy, the African fabric, 100% cotton wax, it's, it, it usually uh, 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 shred, not shred, that's not the word I'm looking for. Um, well, anyway, you know what I mean. Then you want to have your old trusty pinking shears, okay? Because this is for certain fabrics that you know, that are fray. That's what it is. They'll fray. So you want to have your pinking shears. And you don't want to be cutting paper and stuff with these either. This is just be cutting your material. If you have to get decorated scissors, then get decorative scissors. But never, again, use your good scissors or your pinking shears to be cutting paper and all that kind of stuff. Okay, next, since we're talking scissors, I have my rotary cutter, this, uh, and my little thing that goes with it is behind there. I'm not going to grab that right now, but yeah, this is your rotary cutter. You know, you, all you guys that sew or you're beginning to sew, you know what this is. This is the type of scissors to you, you know, just instead of using the scissors, you roll this. Almost like a pizza cutter. That's what that is, okay? All right. Let me get this back in here. All right, that's my rotary cutter. That's all the cutting stuff. Now, again, with the needles, I also have needles, these, um... 
gigantic these needles okay these are sewing for sewing heavy fabrics um like in leather and all that kind of stuff but there are hook needles say in the case of an emergency and we're out in the wilderness somewhere and somebody gets hurt gets a bad cut or somebody has to do a quick kind of uh, on the scenes type almost like a surgery just to close somebody up you can do that with these needles if you don't have suture kits and all that stuff in your first aid kit you know just in case you can put these um you can use these to stitch with that's why i always keep these these are a product by singer as well you know and i think i'm going to get another set of these to put in um a first aid kit but you know if you don't have a suture kit in your first aid kit these are come in handy for that okay of course we have thread you know pink thread and I have little spools in here plenty of thread all different colors and this is a um, extra stuff that go up my sewing machine that you know I keep here along with my sewing machine and then I have like extra elastic you know if I want to sew uh, and let me go back to the top that has stuff in it too since I did the scissors and all that and uh, like I said the uh, scissor sharpener then you have your hem gauge I have a couple of these yeah, these are hem gauges when you're doing hems on your dresses and skirts I, I don't never use them but they're here anyway hem gauge okay then I have my pencils my marking pencils I know some people like to use chalk they had make a marking chalk but I just prefer the pencils you know so I have those extra button to something and then your best friend in the whole wide world when you're sewing and that is a seam ripper. Okay. They make these in bigger sizes. I just use the. Uh, I have small ones. Because they work the same way. This is. Uh, I've had this one for a long time. Uh, the little blue one. You can tell because the thing is all cracked. But it, it still works. This one. This actually goes with my sewing machine. But. Seam ripper. You always want to have a seam ripper. Because you want to be able to. If you're sewing and you make a mistake. You want to be able to pull that out, and that's what these do. That rips the thread, you know, cuts the thread so you can rip the seam open, okay? Um, what else? Oh, pin cushion. You always want the pin cushion. And then, okay, you want a little pin cushion, and you want the little strawberry on your pin cushion. What this is, this is a needle sharpener and a pin sharpener. When your pins start getting dull, let me show you. Oh, let me get one with a, a big one. Oh, shoot. All right, what you do is you take this and you stick your pins and your needles inside this little red thing and it sharpens them. Yep, so yeah, it sharpens them. All right, again, I, I showed you my little thing with the, my stick pins and safety pins, the needles and... Basically, that's kind of it. And now, like I said, the rest of the stuff down in here is like thread and, ela like I said, elastic and well, my ribbon that goes on the bottom of my skirt. I'm running out of that. And that's just about it, y'all. But like I said, never, ever, 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 ever cut paper with your sewing scissors okay you always want to keep them nice and sharp okay so if you have any questions put them down in the comments and i'll try to get back and answer any if i can um embroidery thread um and if this is the first time you ever watched any of my videos i'm gonna ask you to subscribe 
uh hit the little bell so you get notifications when i whenever i put up new content and i also want you guys to give me a thumbs up because when i get thumbs up that let them know that people actually like my videos okay um what else uh share share well anyway you guys if you don't have a sewing box invest in one if you have girls you know little daughters start them off you can start them off with um the little shoe box i'll get this one because it's easier to get to and what you do is you get them a pair of scissors to teach them how to do you put the scissors you get a pack of needles you put the needles in there um let me find a spool. You get a spool, some thread, a couple of spools of thread. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Clumsy, clumsy. I don't know what this is. Okay, you throw that in there. Um, and you might not invest in a pair of pinky shears for them right away, but, yeah, if you can find a little cheap pencil, I mean, not a pencil, but a scissor sharpener, Throw that in there for them, too, just to get them started. That's all you have to do. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get them started. But at least um, get them a sewing box. Get you, if you don't have one, get yourself a sewing box. Because you never know. Like I said, you never, ever, ever know what um, our outcomes are going to be. So, And we always want to be prepared, you know. So, again... Sewing box, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, give me a thumbs up. Okay, with that, y'all, I'm going to say shalom.